What is up, guys? It's Roman Kozak here with my first Raspberry Pi tutorial. I have to admit, I haven't programmed that much in Python before, but this project we're about to do today is very simple and very cool for the little amount of time it takes and for the little amount of programming knowledge it requires. So, um, on top of this project, you can build and make other cool stuff, but I'm just going to show you today how to make a Raspberry Pi email notifier. And this is from the Adafruit learning system. I'll have the link below where you can find the full tutorial. But what this does is it queries your Gmail inbox. And if you have any unread email, it will light up a green LED. And if you have no unread emails, which is very good, it will light up a red LED. So without any further ado, let's get on with the tutorial. So if you go to the Adafruit learning system, um, you can check out the tutorial. Now you want to first set up remote SSH, so this allows you to control your Pi from a different computer. So um, in order to do this, we first need to enable um, SSH. So what you want to do is in your Pi's terminal window, uh, you want to type sudo and then raspi, R-A-S-P-I dash config. And that should pop up the um, configuration menu. And you just want to go down to the advanced panel, click enter, then go to SSH, click enter, and make sure this bad boy is enabled. Okay, it says SSH shiver is enabled. That is awesome. We're just going to click enter. Okay, so now that we are finished setting up SSH, we can exit out of this um, configuration panel and just click finish. Okay, so we're back in the terminal window. The next thing we want to do is find the IP address of this Pi. So what we're gonna do is go sudo and then if config. I believe that is the right command, click enter. And you should see your IP address in the top paragraph. My address is 192.168.0.107 okay so now once you have that you want to head on over to your computer I'm running Windows and um, you can open up a program such as uh, putty uh, that's what I will be using so just double click on putty and then you can enter in um, the IP address that was shown there so I am going to enter 192.168.0.1 and then just click open and it should open a terminal and um, you're going to log in as pi because that is a default login and you are then going to enter in your password as raspberry once it asks you for your password. It shouldn't be too long. Okay, so raspberry. Click enter. Because I didn't enter it the first time. Okay, so now we are ready to get on to programming. So, um, first things first is uh, we want to head back over um, to the um, Adafruit learning system. And we want to go to prepare Python. And what you want to do is enter in these commands one after another. Um, it's just setting up the system, make sure you have uh, the GPIO um, enabled, make sure, make sure you've installed the feed parser uh, that you distribute. Um, so once you have that all set, um, we'll be good to go to uh, set up the hardware. Okay, so if you look at my setup, um, I have my Raspberry Pi. I then have the Adafruit Cobbler breakout going to a PCB board. And then, um, as you can see, I have ground, so that yellow wire is connecting to the ground on the cobbler breakout and going to the ground on my um, PCB. And then I have the red LED attached to a 330 ohm resistor and then going to pin 23. And then I have the green LED attached to a, a 330 ohm resistor going to pin 18. Okay, so once again, the red LED is going to pin 23, the green LED is going to pin 18, both on 330 ohm resistors. So uh, the hardware is very simple. Uh, just once you have that set up, 
we can get on to uh, the Python script. Okay, um, so on to the Python script. Okay, so um, this is a script that Adafruit provides for us. Now, the only thing that you need to change in here is enter in your username. So let's say your Gmail address is romankozak uh, at gmail.com. What you're going to put is just romankozak in the username, just the stuff before the at sign. And in the password, you're going to put that long and super secure password that uh, we all should have. Now, um, the new mail um, just states um, that... If you set it to one, it's going to notify you when you have two or more unread emails. If you have put it as zero, it's going to notify you when you have one or more unread emails. So I like to put that to zero. And then um, this uh, mail check frequency just um, will check your email every 60 seconds, but you can change that to 10 to check every 10 seconds. And then it's going to debug. So print this to the terminal. It'll print you have blank amount of uh, new emails. And then um, if uh, you have more than one unread email, it's going to turn the green LED on and the red LED off. And then it's just going to sleep for that amount of time that you set it to sleep. Okay, so what you want to do is just copy and paste this and then uh, copy it and then put in your information. So you don't want to leave it with username and password because that'll be... Unless your username is username at gmail.com and your password is password, you can leave it as that. But I assume it is not, so just... Put in your normal stuff, and then, um, yeah, uh, so just copy it. Once you've put in your normal stuff, just copy it, and then head on over to your terminal. Go like this. Right-click to paste. Uh, let me just make this bigger. Right-click to paste. Click Enter. Now what we want to do is type in uh, mod the plus sign, an X, and then raspberry, rasp, E, R, A, S, P, I, gmail, dot pi. And if you don't want to type this out, you can just copy and paste it from Adafruit's website. Click enter, and that will just zip up the file. And then the last command that we do before we can run this awesome program is um, go sudo get some uh, privileges here dot backslash raspy dash gmail dot pi okay so then just click enter and your program should run okay so as you can see I was already running it so just give me a small error saying I have no uh, saying I've already running it but you shouldn't get that error you should just see that it will say you have zero new um, emails. And the reason it keeps showing this every five seconds is because in that frequency check, I made it, um, I put it five instead of 60. Okay, so now I'm going to send myself a quick email on my phone. So just send this to my email address, make a really dumb subject and really dumb message, click send and hopefully that LED will turn green. So I just sent it out and it turned green, so that's awesome. And um, you can see that on the terminal, I now have one new email. So if I send myself another message, boy, I'm just so popular getting all these messages. Okay, I should see that the light continues to be green and now on my terminal, it says I have two new emails. So what happens if I go ahead and read these emails? The LED should go to red. And on my terminal, I should have zero emails. Okay, should go to red. Hmm. Anytime now, there we go. So it is back to red. So guys, um, I hope you found this project somewhat easy, um, just dipping your toes into the Python programming language. I found that it's super fun. I normally just stick to Arduino, HTML, uh, and CSS, and then some JavaScript for Android coding, but I found this project to be very easy. I hope I helped you guys um, 
discover um, Python a bit more. And um, like, I mean, something I did last night was I just added a buzzer so it buzzes whenever um, it receives a new um, email for me so I get notified in sound too. Um, this has been my quick uh, tutorial, my first tutorial on the Raspberry Pi. There are many more to come. If you like this video, perhaps you'll like some of my others, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. That is twitter.com slash Roman A. Kozak.